Hey, this is Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com with this week's iPad App of the Week. This is an app that's been around quite a while. In fact, I downloaded and installed it almost immediately after getting the first iPad last year. But because of Pages, I almost never used it. But to be quite honest with you, I'm fed up with Pages. I don't think that uh, Apple's doing a very good job of updating it. There's some problems with it, one of which is uh, iPad Pages documents are corrupted when you open them in the desktop version of Pages. So I've gone back to Documents to Go, which is an app that I used to use when I had a Windows mobile phone. And I'm going to go ahead and fire it up for you. Now when it opened up there, it was already in one of my um, documents. And let me show it to you. It takes a little while to refresh this screen. I'll show you what this screen is in just a second. And that's my biggest complaint about the app is, is uh, it's accessing these documents from the web. These are uh, cloud storage accounts that I have set up, and um, it can be a little slow, as you can see. These are documents in my SugarSync um, account, and I've got my documents folder all set up there. And so these are all the documents that are in SugarSync, and again, there's quite a few in there, so it's taken a while for it to refresh that folder. Once it does, we'll go ahead and show you how simple it is when you open it up. Now, one thing you can be guaranteed, the minute you want to show off an app, it'll start acting funny. Um, and so we for, sort of fast-forwarded to this point. Um, I, uh, you saw that it was sort of taking a long time to refresh it. It's never done that before, and lately that seems to be happening to me almost every time I want to show off an app, and I don't know why. But uh, you notice I've got a whole bunch of different kinds of documents in here. I've got PDFs, I've got uh, um, DOCX, which is uh, uh, Word files, I've got JPEGs. Now here's the app of the week uh, picture f that I used to use on my videos. And when you tap on it, it downloads it. Now the, the little icons are gray when it's not downloaded, but when it has color to it, that means it is downloaded. So there you go. There's our iPad app of the week, the old one we used to use. Now I'll download this um, document file. This is one of my wife's uh, teaching files. See, now it says it's ready. Whoops, hit the wrong one there. This is a pages file. So uh, notice the pages file opens up. The I'm doing this from the top so my angles are off. The That one is open let's download this PDF and then open it one of the things I sort of wish that documents to go would do is if you tap it chances are you want to open it so just go ahead and open it um, I wish that was the default behavior but unfortunately it's not now isn't that funny I'm using Dropbox but yet I'm showing you I'm using sugar sync but I'm showing you a Dropbox PDF so you notice it opens up a lot of different kinds of files and um, see we've got a a PNG file, that's our notebooks.com logo. There you have that. And I think that's basically the only kind of files that I have in this one. So it works real well. Now once you do open a um, document, let's go back in here and uh, open that. This is a pages document and it can't be edited. You notice there's no editing lines down here. But if you open up a um, a Word document, now you see the editing toolbar is here. This is a uh, um, letter that my son wrote, so I can tap in here and the keyboard comes up. I can start typing in here if I want. I can select that, hide the keyboard, bring up the font. We can make it bold, change the color of it to red. We can um, center it on the screen. Now I like the way the fonts work. It's got this uh, rolling selector there. And then you can make it a bulleted list. And then you can also get the word count for this document. Alright, so we've selected two words, so that's how many it's showing. 
it's real simple and we really like uh, the way it works. Now you notice there when I hit the back button uh, that's essentially closing the document so it says do you want to save it? Do you want to save it as so you can give it another name? Or do you want to discard the changes? I'm going to discard those changes. Alright so now we're back out to the main screen. We're not in any of the sharing accounts. You'll notice down here at the bottom uh, we've got our local, we've got desktop. You can actually share files between a desktop using a special app that you load on your desktop. I haven't done that because I just actually prefer to use the um, uh, the online accounts. Now I'm not going to do that because it will show you all my online accounts. But then these are recent folders. Uh, the store is where you can update. Uh, you can download a... The, the version that I'm using here was the lower priced one but then I upgraded it to the premium. And then you can search your documents and here's the settings folder where you it's can a really great app, really easy to use and uh, notice I don't have any stored here in the local one. I can start a new so you can do Word, Excel, PowerPoint and you can create a new email with attachments. So uh, it works really well. It's a great little app and for me it's my chosen editor, uh, document editor on the iPad because basically pages um, you know, Apple just uh, did a nice job. It looks pretty, but the functionality of it isn't any better than this. In fact, I prefer having the editing toolbar right there all the time. In Pages, you always have to go up here, punch a button, and then you get to the stuff. Um, and so I think Documents to Go is actually better. For the price of one of the Pages, Numbers, or Keynote um, programs, you get the ability to do all three. Now, it doesn't do... The editing of PowerPoint is not as good, um, and so I, honestly I think key, Keynote's a better uh, tool for presentations, but if you're going to make files um, for Word style files, I think it's the best uh, uh, editor on the iPad. This has been Kevin Purcell with Documents to Go for Notebooks.com. Thanks for watching.